And here we are, landing aboard the last level of the ship. And the last mission I forgot to note what sniper rifle Garrus had, so I can't upgrade it for him again, which is a bit of a pain. I have 70,000 to spend, you see. I wonder if uh, I can actually up get any new any new s stock. Yeah, look! I get the new stock from here. Medigel capacity 3, 16,000. Anything that costs more than 10,000 I'll probably buy it on the Citadel. Because uh, obviously the, the higher the price the more the 10% markup is. So... Some assault rifle stuff, some pistol stuff. Magazine upgrade. Definitely something that Shepard wants. The pistol magazine upgrade. In fact, I'll probably buy it. Uh, I'm going to the Citadel anyway. I might as well have a, a mooch about. Oh, a new visor. Spectre rec requisitions. Some more shoulders. Ah, shield 10%. Hmm, that might be worth a purchase. Ah, E-gel thermal conduit. Is this what they were after? Only cost a thousand and fifty. Ten percent markup isn't going to be a right lot. Might as well buy it here. Save me having to keep an eye keep an eye out for it on the Citadel, I suppose. Sure. Hi Carter, just seeing if everything's okay. Let's go talk to James. Parts of the chunk are reminding me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but you know, the sand and everything. Yes, well, sand is sand, and sky is the sky. Each planet will have uh, various similarities, of course. Right, back to engineering. It seems that we have. Uh, <laughs> We have these thermal conduits on order. Didn't even have to leave my ship. It's like internet shopping. <laughs> Brought to the Normandy. Adams, I actually have these things for you right now. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Lovely. Good to see I've got some competent engineers down here. So we got some more uh, more assistance from the crucible. Can only mean good things. So we've checked in with our crew. Everyone's doing fine. Garrison Joker, of course, having a great time up, up on the bridge, sharing uh, sharing jokes with each other. A little bit of one-upmanship. So I think we're good to go. We are bound for the Citadel, but before we go there, as I say, if we do have new systems that we can scan, we will scan them. So here we are, to Chanka. Leaving for now, but uh, we'll be back, no doubt. Whoa ho, we seem to have a whole plethora of systems here. As per usual, I shall st Oh, oh, the Horsehead Nebula. <coughs> I'll just bring out my list of systems that have no items to scan in them to save me time. Okay. Sigurd's Cradle. The Ninmar Cluster. Yeah, we've definitely been there before. Nothing worth scanning. The Attican Beta. This is a new one. And it's scannable. Okay, that's a new one. Uh, the Hades Gamma and the Gemini Sigma, that's fine. Kite's Nest, Petra Nebula, Exodus, Arctura Stream. Horsehead Nebula is a new one, that's where the next mission is for the Cerberus fighter base, but there's nothing scannable in there. 
The Anos Basin is an old one. The Athon Cluster is a new one. The Apian Crest. The Minos Wasteland, the Ismar Frontier, and the Strike Abyssal. So there's two new systems. Actually, there's three new systems. One with no with no uh, war assets, and two with uh, war assets. So first of all, we'll start in the Atticum Beta. Wow. So, here we are in Hercules. The Taurus. Standard gas giant. We have a Litania. I'm getting the feeling we've read these. I remember the com I remember the information regarding these biotic, microscopic symbiotic creatures that basically cause anaphylactic shock if inhaled. Say you dead? Yes, I yeah. These are ringing bells. Ringing bells. All these systems we visited before. I wonder if they're actually from both Mass Effect One and Mass Effect Two. First of all, just check, checking I for fuel, and there we go. I'm actually probably making mistakes here. When I when I uncover the fuel, I always pretty much collect it straight away. When I'm still at fuel, full fuel at the moment, maybe I should just leave the fuel until I leave the system and collect it all together, so that it's not going to waste. It's probably more more smart. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Interferometric array. Seems like something that would be uh, used on the Citadel to hand in to somebody. Moving on to Theseus. See, now I'm using fuel, so if I'd have left the fuel in Hercules, I could have flown to here, then flown back to Hercules and collected it later. I know for next time. Feros! Oh, look at that! <coughs> We've been here. As I say, I do like to come to these places. A bit of nostalgic feelings. Okay, so we'll fly about. It's going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I should just scan the planets first and see if there's any on here. Oh, here come the Reapers! Signal confirmed. So Jenny scientists, pick him up. Could use their assistance. Okay. Oh, this is it. Let's get the fuel and get the hell out of here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. Reapers are on the way. But it's too late, Reapers. I'm too he quick for you. Ha <laughs> ha. See you later. I took him beta. Done. About half few left. Okay, so jetting off then to the Athon Cluster. The Athon. Have we ever been here before? I don't know if we have. 
I oh, I rune. There's definitely something scannable here. Something for that uh, the book of Plenix, I think. So this is a Volus homeworld. High pressure, high gravity planet that supports an ammonia-based ecology. This rare environment means that the Volus have been slow to colonize as there are few planets that meet their habitation requirements. Most prefer to stay on Irun, working remotely via the extranet. The more adventurous don the clumsy but vital pressure suits and venture out to worlds in Citadel space to make their fortunes. Irun is remarkable for having done away with warfare as an institution of the state. Volus culture lacks the romantic view of war found in the galaxy's more aggressive species. Physical skirmishes between groups rarely last long and are almost always ended by social castigation, bargaining agreements or harsh economic sanctions. Irun's cities tend to be built on fast trade routes rather than military defensible positions. This has left them vulnerable to a husk attack now that the Reapers have overwhelmed the Turian fleets and begun a ground war on the planet. It'd be interesting if we could land on Irun to see how the Volus look without their suits on. That would be rather interesting, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's scan here. Pick up the Book of Plenix and get the hell out. There we go. Book of Plenix! Few, which I am going to not use. Oh my god, only a third of the war assets picked up, and so there must be six in here. This is rich, 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 rich. It would, it would make sense though, the, the Volus are known for their ways with, with, uh, with trade and such. Volus fabrication units. Holy moly, we're picking up the stuff here, aren't we? Okay. Reapers eluded. Oh my god, look at this whole system is just teeming with war assets. Faster than light jump. It's not going well, is it? We're not really. Okay, this might be trouble. <gasps> I need to come from his bottom corner. Reapers eluded. Okay. I'm kind of struggling there. I'd love to come back to that. There is some fuel which I could have actually used. Uh, I'll go back to it though. Isori. You will not catch me today! Uh oh, there's one more war asset here somewhere. Evasion successful. There it is. Oh boy. Let's see if I can come in from that come in from that angle. Oh we better be quick, there's a reaper right on our tail! Weeper is right literally on our tail here. Volus Dreadnought. Go, 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 go! Woo! Faster than light jump successful. Faster than light jump. Satu Ard. I 
smell something. Evasion successful. Fuel? Thank you. Oh, by there's still some missing. It's gonna be one of these planets. Must be. Reapers eluded. Shoot. Faster than light jump successful. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Catch me if you can, Reapers! Flawless engineering team! Assemble! Woohoo! We're off! Evasion successful. Right, one more to go. Nearer. Right ho! Two pieces of the puzzle, right here. Omar Kerr, Temperate Garden World. Volus Intelligence Archives. Some fuel, and we're off. Back to the mass relay, and Aru still has some assets outstanding. I really cannot help but try and find these blooming things. Fuel collected. Oh no, that was the last one. Oh, we've been caught by a Reaper. Well, that was a pain in the backside. <laughs> right as I caught the last asset, I didn't notice the Reaper was behind me. And in fact, where did he come from? Critical mission failure. Ah, you only start getting from here, that's fine. Look, there he came from, so if we come from the top side, we might be a little bit better off. There we go. Thank you very much. 100% assets recovered. Faster than light jump successful. If we come from this side, straight to the relay, successful. and out. There was a Cerberus base mission which I forgot to do, which I was planning to do before going to the Citadel, but I don't think it'll make a great deal of difference. So we'll uh, dock on board the Citadel!